them anyway. Oh, there is instructions. There is instructions. Oh, fancy. Oh, hello. This is quite fun. I think I found it. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title, today is a TikTok made me do it video. So, as you all know, TikTok is something that has been doing pretty well lately, especially with all the lockdowns and with this whole pandemic it's been keeping people positive and if you have tiktok you will know that a lot of people will talk about different products and rate them and test them and basically i'm using what i found from that and putting it into a youtube video so i've got a collection of different pieces that i've seen people talk about all over tiktok and basically showing you them and testing them i tried to get the cheapest versions of all of them but obviously still decent quality so i think i've done that but some of the things i've got slightly more expensive than i probably had to but just because i really liked them and yeah so basically what i'm saying is there's different variations of prices across the board um depending on where you get it from or how personalized you want them things like that i already have tried um one of the things which was huge on tiktok i don't know if it still is i think it still is which is the sky high maybelline mascara i'll insert a clip of me trying the mascara because i did already include that in another video so it's definitely a staple in my makeup collection because it's such a good mascara the other thing which i also have is the revlon blow drying brush this is what the brush looks like um so it's a very thick brush um if you look close enough you can see all the hairs in it because it's well used um, i do tend to use that when my hair is damp after i've washed it in the evenings and then i just roll it like that to sleep in put a roller in my fringe and i have a hairstyle for like the next three days so that is perfect that's not how i've done my hair today i've used a wand today but normally i would use that to just give it like a blow dried curly effect so yes i already use them so i can recommend them already so we may as well get on with it so the first thing i am going to talk about is everyone has been talking about starbucks cups and if you haven't heard people talk about these starbucks cups where have you been so i decided this is one of the items which i decided to get slightly more expensive than you would have to i will obviously try and link all of the people's sites and things like that because i got this from etsy really fast delivery really impressed and actually really affordable compared to a lot of them so i went for this style so it's like the louis vuitton print but it's got mickey mouse heads in it which i absolutely love because it doesn't look too like disney but i just love the combination of it and you could actually get this in red as well but i decided to go for the black because i mean it goes with more outfits let's be honest so this cup i got and i'm pretty sure it was 17 pounds and free delivery which was actually the cheapest that i could find it for the quality and like for the reviews things like that i decided this was the best one to go for it's just a pop-off lid with obviously the straw um it is hand wash only obviously because it has the stickers on it but i haven't actually used it yet but it's a cup so pretty self-explanatory if you ask me that's the first thing i got which i'm really really happy with the next thing i got was this real their real magnet mascara it's by benefit now i live for benefit brow products i have tried a lot of their mascaras one of my favorite mascaras is bad girl bang by benefit so i know that i really like benefit stuff i've heard a lot of good things about this so it's got like a little magnet on the top there we go this is what it looks like obviously this is the mini version so i'm guessing the big version just is bigger but basically that's french so i don't understand what that is 36 hour lengthening won't smudge or flake it was only tested on 21 women so not very many really but i've heard lots of good things on tiktok and it's got a magnetically charged core so 
it's basically supposed to like just draw them up and that's the before and after that they give you so we're hoping for good things i have naturally i'm very blessed in that i have naturally very long eyelashes anyway uh so yes i'm very grateful for that we will see some mascaras just make my eyelashes heavy so I actually just drag them down so my eyelashes aren't naturally overly curly but they are very long so this is with no product on my eyes whatsoever so i'm now going to do it on one eye and hopefully it will be good i'm not going to bother to curl them just because sometimes i do sometimes i don't so I'm just going to literally test it. So that's what the brush looks like. There we go. So it's quite a small brush really. But what the guy was also saying is with a lot of mascaras, he was like Benefit Mascara does have a lot of different qualities in it, which is why it makes it so good. But he was like ultimately a lot of mascaras, it's all down to the brush you use. The formula actually isn't that different. So that's something to keep in mind if you've got like a favourite mascara because you love the way it looks on your eyes. Nine times out of ten you can go and buy a really cheap formula and just use the same brush and you'll get the same effect. So it's definitely something to keep in mind because a lot of the time it's just based on the brush that you have. So yeah please remember that if you're looking to save some dollar because mascaras can be ridiculously expensive so yeah little tip okay so let me show you this is one coat obviously on this eye i think that's pretty good i'm pretty impressed with that you know I'll do another coat because I would normally do two coats on each eye and we'll see the difference. This is how we're looking. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'm quite impressed, I'm not going to lie. But my only thing is, is I don't overly get why it's so expensive. Like I've got pretty good mascaras which do the same thing that are a lot cheaper. I don't know. I do rate it though. Do definitely rate it. And obviously you can see a huge difference between before and after. But I just don't know that I would pay that amount of money for this effect. When I can get it with cheaper ones. For example the Primark one. The False Lash Queen or whatever it is. Is like £3. And to me does the same thing so let me know on your thoughts on that because i'm not sure i would go back and pay for this yeah i'm gonna do the other eye because otherwise i'm gonna look stupid for the rest of the video so i'm just gonna do that and then we will get back to the other bits i bought so the next thing that i had to get which i've seen a lot of boyfriends buy for their girlfriends I don't obviously have a boyfriend, but I'm going to buy it for myself because why the hell not? And it's the Feeling Octopus. Oh my goodness, look how cute. It's so soft. He's so cute. Let me show you. It's so cute. So basically, the whole idea of these is you put the octopus whichever way you're feeling if you're feeling happy it goes with the smiley face if you're feeling sad it goes with the unhappy face and you're supposed to just put that on your side so people can see what sort of mood you're in before they try and start talking to you so i love this idea i just think it's a really good idea especially if you are if your moods are quite up and down like mine are um girls periods probably a good thing to buy so yeah i just thought it was so cute i got this one from etsy and on amazon they were selling for like 15 to 30 pounds and i thought that's a bit expensive went on to etsy this one was five pounds and free delivery and it is exactly the same same size same quality so soft and 
it was five pounds so i will obviously like i said link everything down below but <laughs> i will insert a picture of how it came because i was a little bit concerned it basically came vacuum packed and i'm looking at the package thinking how on earth is that an octopus inside there because it said octopus on the outside so i'm thinking how on earth is there an octopus inside there I opened it up and it was um, vacuum packed. So I'll insert a picture because I thought it was quite funny. Um, but obviously it's so that they can send it cheaper, which I like that. Um, they use their initiative. So yes, I did have to buy my little friend and he will sit on my side in my bedroom. So my parents know how I'm feeling before they start trying to annoy me. So yeah, I thought he was so cute. But yes, ideal presents for your partner i just think they're brilliant some of the videos are hilarious on tiktok when they see what the octopus is doing before they talk to their girlfriend or if the octopus is upset they will go and get them chocolate and then the octopus is happy again so yeah i think it's such a cute idea and obviously for five pounds an affordable idea as well so yes i will link everything down below the next thing i got which i've seen a lot of people and i think this was actually more of a trend before tiktok i think people had this anyway but i've seen it on tiktok quite a bit and it's these led strip lights i didn't know whether or not i needed these or wanted these but when i thought i'm gonna do the video i thought why not try them and i'm pretty sure these were only like five pounds from amazon i did search around because obviously i didn't want to spend loads of money now these ones aren't the best quality in terms of they're not overly bright and the connection between like the actual light bit and the usb lead isn't brilliant i've managed to sort it and i have got it around my mirror so i will go and show you in a second but this one has 16 different lights options it has a remote control it's usb plug-in because i didn't want batteries and that's pretty much it really easy they have like a sticker all along the back so you can stick it to the back of things i was going to stick it on the back of my tv but then um this morning i was having a bit of a mare because the light is so dark today and i plan to film a zara haul which i'm going to be doing in a minute and because the light was so dark you wouldn't see the outfits in my mirror so i have put it around my mirror to give it that little bit of backlight um so i will go and show you that now so please ignore what's going on around it i am trying to revamp this area but we're not there yet so this is my mirror obviously you will recognize it from other videos so this is the little remote you get so i'm just going to turn it on so this is the white light i've just literally stuck it on the back of my mirror um so this is what the white light looks like and i think that'll just add when i film and then you've got the all all the different colors that you can change it to and then you can do different things like that change the way you want them to change color and yeah and then you have four different light settings as well or brightness settings so that's quite cool too so the next thing that i got was also from amazon and this was something that i definitely seen on tiktok so i well i don't know if i follow them but i came across accounts which do like slimming world foods or calorie deficient food ideas uh what they eat in a day now i'm not necessarily trying to lose weight but i am trying to be more aware of what i eat so this is ideal because i like to put stuff in um, my fitness pal to see keep an eye on what i'm eating and how many calories i'm having so because i'm trying to be in a calorie deficit doesn't always work every day but i am trying so this i thought was ideal because it saves either guessing or having to get the big scales out so to me this seems pretty good so i got it in the black i think it was about 8.99 i think 
I will see, try and link what I can. Um, this is exactly the same one as the girl had on the video. Do I need a battery? No, it's got a battery. Woohoo! It is one of those flat disc batteries, but we actually have quite a bit of them because my mum has hearing aids and that's what they take. So, on. Oh, we're on. Right, I want to weigh something. Right, so basically, I'll probably, I should probably try this on food, but I can't be bothered to go downstairs right now. But basically, it's not the most accurate in terms of when I'm just holding it here. It's changing weight. Oh, wait, no. So you have to hold it flat upright for it to be at zero but i what i just did because it wasn't at zero i just tapped the on button again and it went back to zero so i guess you've just got to keep an eye that it is zero when you start but this is basically what it looks like um so you have three different controls so there is hold mode and on and off i've just been playing with the on and off i don't know what the others do hold so grams ounces cn and ct whatever cn and ct are i do not know so i'll probably not be using them but pff, that's not a big deal i wouldn't use them anyway oh there is instructions there is instructions i'm a bit of a mess can you tell so maximum weight is 300 grams or 500 grams minimum weight is 0.5 grams division 0.1 gram as you can tell don't really know what all these things mean function tear unit switch auto lock and basically the hold button is if you have got something in there you weigh it press the hold button so then you can make note of how much you've used so it just keeps it there so from what i can see it's pretty good and you just hold the on off button to turn it off um i went for black just because it's slightly cheaper than the other colors but you can get multiple colors in it if that is something that bothers you i however don't care what colour it is, just wanted the cheapest option, won't I? So the next thing I got, if you haven't seen these leggings on TikTok or on Facebook or on any social media platform, you probably don't have social media. So these, oh hello. So these are supposed to be like butt lifting, no cellulite leggings. I had mainly seen these on TikTok. So I decided to order a pair. I got mine from Amazon. You can literally type into Amazon TikTok leggings and this is what you'll find. I went for the pocket ones, not on purpose. Again, cheaper. Don't know why, but they were. Um, and I went for a grey colour because, I mean, I always have black leggings and ultimately you don't really see cellulite in black leggings anyway. So I thought this was a better colour to test the cellulite effect um they look really cute and they've got like butt ruching which we all appreciate and the fact that they've got pockets is ideal because if you do go to the gym then you can just shove your phone in there i know i used to do that a lot but obviously i don't do them anymore but i got them in a large i would have gone for a medium because normal leggings are a medium but i think they suggested sizing up or i looked at the size guide and it said a large was like a 12 to 14 so that's the only thing I shop around because <sighs> different sizing might be on different sites different sellers i don't know how it works but there we go a lot of them are from american sites also so i don't know if that has an effect but these ones were obviously from amazon uk so i'm going to try them on now and we'll see whether or not they actually do what they say on the packet Okay, so these are what the leggings look like on. Um, ignore the background if there's any mess. I did try and tidy this this morning, but yeah, it still always looks messy in here. But these are what they look like. And I'm actually quite impressed. I didn't think I would like them because I thought they would be too shiny and too weird. But I actually kind of like them. So, I mean, let's try the... What is the pose that they do? Like, like, 
but I end up hurting myself when I try and do that butt pose. I don't know how people do it, but you know, you know the pose I mean, <laughs> like like that, like that. Anyway, so I think they look pretty cool. Um, I've got a, <laughs> a jumper dress over the top, but that doesn't help. So yeah, I think that they're quite flattering. I definitely got the right size, so definitely size up on whatever size you think you are which may be an issue for people who are bigger than like a large but yeah I don't think you can see any cellulite in that yeah impressed the last thing that I got which is my absolute favorite out of everything I won't lie to you the one I'm most excited about so you will have seen on TikTok a lot of people buying candles which reveal a ring or some form of jewellery. So I went onto this website which is called Royal Essence and the candles themselves were like £30. So it's ideal if you want to get someone like a nice present because obviously you get a really nice ring at the end of it as well. You get to pick what size ring you are. So obviously that's all set. You just obviously can't pick what ring you get. But that's part of the like fun of it. So I was looking. And I've probably spoken about this before on my channel. But I don't actually like lighting candles everything about fear fear about fire so yeah a candle i was gonna buy one but then i thought that's a bit of a waste just to get the ring because ultimately i'm just gonna literally burn it until i get the ring and then that's it so it's a bit of a waste of 30 pounds so i had a little shop around and i found it's called whipped soap and i think it was like half the price of like what the candles were you get exactly the same rings inside and you get to pick what size ring you have now unfortunately they didn't have many options in terms of flavors um for my size ring so the one i ended up getting was orange slices which still sounds really nice so this is what it looks like and so i'm not entirely sure how this works but our whipped soaps are a three-in-one powerhouse, all packed in one jar. You can use a so it as a soap in the shower to make bubbles in the bath and even shaving cream. Our whipped soap has a rich and buttery feel to it, which makes your shower much more fun. How do I get the ring? It doesn't say, so I'm just going to open it. But I'm actually buzzing for this because like, I can use this as well because we all know I love a bubble bath. And you can use it for in the shower and a shaving cream as well, which is amazing. So I actually get a lot for it. Oh my god, I'm so excited right now. Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. How do I get the ring? It's literally all I want to know. If I've got to stick my finger in this to get the ring. It's quite a nice substance. Sounds really weird, doesn't it? Look, this is what it's like. But it feels quite soft and it's a bit like slime. So if you're a bit of a kid like me, this is quite f I think I found it. <gasps> Wait, is it stuck in the jar? Oh no, I can't move it. <laughs> this looks so funny. <gasps> There it is. Oh my god, I've made such a mess. I'm so excited. My hands are going to smell amazing after this as well. So this is what it currently looks like. Obviously, I need to clean it off. Current state of my hand. Even more orange than normal. I am with wet wipe. So I've just opened the little clear case. So it's come in this like foil. So, it I've seen it on TikTok videos and it comes in this foil when you get it in the candle as well. Oh, it's so cute. So, this is what it looks like at the moment. I'll open it up and we can see it properly. Oh my goodness. It's my size as well. well I did pick the right size. So, that's what the ring looks like. 
How pretty. Oh, I'm actually buzzing with that because it's not a ring I would normally like go for, like the colour, but I actually really like it. Oh, that's so pretty. So it also has a code on it. So you're supposed to go to this website, so I'm going to do that now. And it shows you how much it's worth, so let's try it. H R ninety five pounds. That's pretty good considering I only spent like twenty quid on it, if that. I'm buzzing. Obviously, didn't do it for how much the ring was, but oh my god, that's so cute. Honestly, 925 silver, and yeah, pfft, what else can I say about it? I absolutely love it. I think it looks so cute, and it's worth 95 pounds. So, I guess if I ever want to sell it, that's how much I would get for it. I guess. I don't really know. I don't really know how that works, but I'm not selling it anyway. So, yes. That is everything that I got. I'm actually buzzing with everything that I got and I will probably be repurchasing these ring things because I absolutely love a bit of jewellery. Don't know about anyone else. Uh, especially as it's worth a lot more than you pay for it. So that is my haul for today. I really hope you enjoyed. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. If you would like me to do another video like this, let me know because TikTok, people are always coming up with crazy new things that they're trying on TikTok. So let me know if you want me to do another video like this because it's been really fun for me to do something like this. And please subscribe because I am so close to 200, it's ridiculous. And when I reach 200, I will be doing a giveaway. So you really don't want to miss that. So please, please, please subscribe if that's all you do today. Please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all in the next video.